Hello and welcome again to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Wursu. Well, you can see the whimsical flowers are back. There's a story behind this, which I'll tell you in a moment. As you can see, the poppies begin using a method of mine that is probably familiar to you by now, where I sketchy stitch the outline of my design first. I generally make few, if any, markings on the fabric before I begin. Once you get used to working like this, you'll find it really frees you up. With this piece I did make a few markings just to indicate where I wanted each flower, but other than that, the fabric was a blank canvas. Like similar pieces I've made, the process then becomes one of filling in the colour and detail with continuous layers of different coloured threads. If you look back at the other whimsy flowers, you'll notice that these poppies are not as heavily thread sketched. I've allowed more of the background fabric to show through. Now back to the story of how this piece came about. In retrospect, I can't decide if yesterday, when this was filmed, was a hilarious day or a planned disaster. I felt I'd been getting in a rut with the works I share with you, so thought I'd do something completely different, like a face or portrait, perhaps in a folk art style. I actually did begin work with great hope, I might add, but along the way I realised with horror that what I was stitching was not the happy, cheerful face I'd envisaged. It looked more like an abstract, tortured soul. My goodness. So I did a complete about turn and decided to make something that I knew, at least, would be cheerful. Perhaps I'll finish that face, and I might even be brave enough to give you a peek one day. Now back to today's piece, which, incidentally, I hope is not boring you with its similarity to others I've made. You can see now the colour layers building up and adding texture and shape to the poppies. Darker highlights in a deep red and even black complete the flowers before finishing off the stems and leaves. It wasn't until I added the black centres to the poppies that I stopped thinking they looked like toffee apples on wobbly sticks. I don't even like toffee apples. Clearly, my mind was working in curious ways yesterday. This little sample was finished off with an irregular border and, in the end, considering the dramas leading up to it, it is at least cheerful. Even the back looks quite interesting. As we approach the last 10 countdown of these 52 weeks of thread sketching videos, I'd love to hear from you about whether you'd like me to continue them next year. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week.